So Libra, in the recent past, we have the Five of Swords. Now, when this card appears in a reading, it's an indication that conflict is near. Things may not be working out as you would have hoped for in a situation or relationship. Uh, you probably find yourself having some mixed feelings about life in general and probably about a few people in particular. It was important for you not to ignore those thoughts, but don't feel like you had or needed to speak every word you were thinking or feeling either, because that probably would have ruined the very thing that you wanted the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So you needed to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if they deserved it. Try to pick your battles. That's what you should have done at that time. The Five of Swords is paired with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you probably had a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, and all should have been going well for you at that time. You needed to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it and be sure to share what you have, even, it's, even if it's only just a kind word spoken to someone you know or someone who's in need. Because we get back what we give out. And that would have been in the recent past. That's the Ten of Pentacles. So we move on to the present. We have the Strength card. Now with, with the Strength card, it's important now for you to make time to meditate and contemplate and spend some time alone, even if you are in a committed relationship and have a lot of kids. Do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear at this time. Outward things, they'll be going well for you right now, but what is most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility to do that. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself and what you're doing. The strength card is paired with the five of pentacles. Now this card can point to a time when your life is probably feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there is always help available when you need it. From sources seen and unseen. You could feel alone at this time, but you have the capacity to change that. So try to reach out. You also may feel left out in the cold for some reason. You probably feel as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one that's suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. With these two cards paired together, the strength card, it's time to meditate and contemplate. Spend some time alone, even if you have a busy situation, a busy household. Okay, that's going to be important right now. Just to keep your head on straight, because it's paired with the Five of Pentacles, uh, it's, it's showing that, if you look at the picture, it's showing that you could feel left out in the cold, or like everyone's suffering ex except for you. So if you just take some time to meditate, take some time to be to yourself, and um, you realize that you're not the only one in this situation, and it, it will help you to um, keep your head on straight. Meditate and spending some time alone, um, that should help. And try not to allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. And that's going to be the present. And now we move on to the challenge. We have the tower card. Now, this shows that you could be trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo. Now, that can be a disaster. You, need, you really need to roll with the changes because it's likely that some people or situations that you have counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic. 
just know that change is the nature of life. So if you try to prevent it, it will be like trying to row upstream, trying to row upstream without a paddle. If you have them building castles in the air, this is the time that some of them, they might come crashing down. That's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart at this time. Just remember that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. With a tower card, it's paired with a six of swords. Now this is a great time for travel of any kind. It also can indicate movement, a change where you are inwardly. Usually the changes for the better, whether the context is internal or external. So think about where you want to be. Now, the Six of Swords, it shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above water and decide where you're going from here. Because even a short break or a change of scenery would be helpful at this time. Keep in mind this doesn't have to cost a lot it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. With well, these two cards paired together, the tower card, you're probably trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster now, because change is the nature of life. Some things or people that you've counted on, uh, that situation will probably be different now for the time being. They're no longer there for you in quite the same way. And the Tower card is paired with the Six of Swords. Um, it's about movement, some type of movement, maybe inwardly, since your situation is dealing with changes. You're probably um, changing inwardly. And it, or also it could be travel. So the change is probably inwardly, I'm thinking, since um, you have the Tower card. Um, now this change will be for the better. At this time you need to think about where you want to be. And this change is also going to help reduce stress and strain. Just keep in mind, things aren't perfect now, but they're, they're going to be much better or they are much better than they have been in the recent past. So things are things are turning around for the better. It's probably just a slow change. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the star card. Now you are likely to find yourself feeling rather inspired. And you will be feeling rather more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You'll also feel more confident that, that your needs whether these needs are emotional or financial needs, they're now being met, both of them. Just keep in mind, nothing can be taken for granted, but it is unlikely that your confidence is misplaced at this time. This is also a spiritual card, and you probably found yourself, at least for a time, uh, feeling feeling at one with all of creation or connecting to your spiritual side is not a common feeling so make sure you savor it with the star card we have the seven of pinnacles now the seven of pinnacles is a very good card it's about returns on investments now this can be literal such as bank account returning money to you or investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. At this time you'll be reaping what you sow. This is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along much better and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a very good cause. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved in or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you're going to need to choose wisely at this time. With these two cards paired together, the star card, 
you, you're starting to feel rather inspired and much more hopeful about the future. So this is a good thing because the challenge was was a, was a little rough. Okay, and your confidence is boosting and your emotional and financial needs, they're, they're being met now and it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles. And this is really good because the Pentacles is about money. Okay, and right now you're getting some type of return on an investment or either money returned to you or money coming towards you. Okay, and also it could be returns coming back to you from the time and energy that you put into relationships. This is going to be a time that you reap what you sow. So it's overall positive. And like I said, um, with the two cards paired together, the star card, things are looking up, everything, financial, emotional, everything's looking up much brighter than they were. And then like I said, the seven of pentacles, money is coming toward you. You're getting some type of return back financially. So these are good cards, really good cards. So the outcome turned out better than the challenge. So, Libra, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.